Welcome to the channel for the first time viewers. Welcome back from my existing subscribers. So this is the Intel version of the benchmark that I just released pretty much two copies of on the AMD side. So uh, for those of you that maybe didn't see it, I was using the extreme preset first run had frame generation on in the uh, actual game files, even though, you know, there was no frame generation option in the screen. So this time around with the Intel side, uh, frame gen starts off off, which I'll throw an indicator so you know when it's on or off. You should also see it when I go into the settings and turn it on. Um, it's just DLSS frame gen, turn it on, um, <clears throat> which on the NVIDIA side, it does have the option and you can see it. But on the AMD card, there's no way for you to tell. So that was that. Uh, performance is decent. You know, I wish it could be better, right? But about two, I would say on the low side, 180. Um, high side, 250 um, with no frame gen on the extreme preset. So I wish I was close to the original three, but, you know, it is what it is. And performance isn't the end of the world. So uh, with frame gen, though, you really don't get that much of a boost, unlike the uh, the AMD card when you turn on frame generation or if, <laughs> if you leave it on by default. The performance just kind of blows through the sky and it's... it's uh, closer to like a 350, 300 FPS experience versus a 250, uh, 270, 280 experience. All right, with that, I am going to cut out from here. I did also go into my my game files and turn heaps back on. For the longest time, I've been running heaps off because of Warzone, um, but running heaps on and going into NVIDIA Profile Inspector and turning on the rebar profile for this game. Uh, Black Ops 6 does show up now, by the way. Uh, but running it for this game has helped a lot. So it pretty much made it so that uh, Resizable Bar is on in the game. And I went from, I'd say, 140 to that uh, FPS I was telling you about. So I went from about 143, 135, really low FPS, um, all the way up to you know, 180 to 250. So it definitely helps out. Um, so with that, if you're having super, super low FPS, let me know. I might make a video. Uh, if you already know how to use Profile Inspector, then just make sure you turn it on for this game. Um, it should be the drop down resizable bar profile with the long um, description. All right, with that, I'm gonna cut out. Y'all be easy. One last thing I forgot to say is that when I, when I made these changes, <clears throat> when I made these changes, it fixed my my 1% and my 0.1% lows. So if you're having just shitty 1% lows or shitty 0.1% lows with an Intel CPU um, and an NVIDIA graphics card, then what you want to go to and do is go into your frame generation um, or frame interpolation setting and change that to false or launch the if it does have it, launch the campaign and change it there. But that fixed it for me. So hopefully this helps you all out. And uh, yeah, you got some value from it. Y'all be easy. Get Sending impact grenade. Save that just for you.
kill. Sniper's gone. Push up. Firing Archangel. RCSD. Bringing in recon. In your fucking dreams. Enemy dropped. Tack on, I need eyes overhead. Fucking do this, black guy. 